yearbooks, Herf Jones, and homecoming. And more news coming your way. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, FHS. I'm your host, Victor. And I'm Izzy. Hey, Miss Caesar's community class, you should report to your Clark's room, room 225. The 2019-2020 yearbook is now on sale. You can get yourself a copy for $25 from now until October 25th. Orders can be placed in room 117 with Miss Schaefer. On October 2nd, Herb Jones will be visiting during community to take your height and weight. If you'd like to volunteer to haunt uh, Fear Farm this weekend, please see Mr. Hunt for more details. And uh, for lunch today, I'm on one and two is cheeseburgers, line three, spicy chicken, line four is quesadilla and stuffed crust pizza, and of course, line five is clothes. Happy birthday goes out to Brooklyn Abbott, Ricardo Garcia Cruz, and Malaysia Perkins. Now over to sports with Yasmin. Thanks guys, the girls soccer team was defeated last night by Lebanon, but continued to play hard. If you are unable to attend and would like to watch the game, go on to our HDTV channel to watch it recorded. The student ambassadors invite you to cheer on the boys soccer team. The theme is Fiesta. Be there on Thursday, October 3rd. On today's sports action, boys tennis will be taken on Coffersville here at home at 5. Boys soccer will be traveling to Danville tonight to the, and the game will begin at 5.30. Volleyball will also be taken on the Gophers at Clinton Perry. Go and support our friends for athletics. That's it for sports. Now to Izzy with weather. Thanks, Yasmin. For weather today, it will be clear for most of the day with a low of 48 and a high of 72. And the troll that Indiana weather is, next week things will begin to heat up again. That's all for weather. Now back to the studio. The Hispanic Heritage Festival will be on Saturday, October 5th from 4 to 10 p.m. There will be good music being played and food. This event will be held at Veterans Park. Here are your, here are your top three winners for the essay contest. First place, Odalis Campos, congratulations. Second place, Christina Espio, and third place, Diana Mora. These students will be recognized on Saturday, October 5th at 4.15 p.m. in Veterans Park near downtown. We hope their peers, friends, teachers, and families will join them. Odalis has gradually accepted to read her essay in English and Spanish on stage that day. Hey, homecoming is next week, and here are the themes for next week. Monday will be country versus farmer, or farmer country. Tuesday is USA. Wednesday is dynamic duos. And Thursday is famous figures. And finally, Friday will be blue and white. And now, all you've been waiting for are the nominations for the 2019 homecoming court. Yeah. Let me get that out of the way. For the class of 2023, will be Celeste Rodriguez and Corelli Mont Montez. For the class of 2022, 20, will be Karina Mora Santos and Karim Quinones. For the class of 2021, Ingrid Guijosa Valdez and Sydney Caesar. For the class of 2020, will be Mallory Woods, Viviana Alanis, Ashley Timmons, Caroline Morales, and Asmarie Suarez. Christian Matias, Nino Ehrman, Brayden Compton, Jaime Garcia, and Diego Nava. Speaking of homecoming, seniors interested in helping decorate homecoming floats, they will be decorating today from 4 to 7.30. Please contact a senior member of Student Council if you're interested. Hey, guess what? That's all for HDTV News. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good Thursday, guys.